Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and the Harvest League has launched seemingly without issue for most people. Uh, this here was my kind of cosplay thing, which was an attempt at a Tron farmer. Took me quite a while to like get all the right materials and a lot of the uh, putting together. It was quite annoying with a lot of fucking super glue, hot glue, whatever. And uh, with a nice glow in the dark uh, glow stick pitchfork. So it went okay, it was pretty uncomfortable to sit in all day, but hey, we managed anyway for at least about an 11 hour stream. And the character I picked to play with was Penance and Arcanist Brand Inquisitor. So right from the get-go, uh, we're leveling with Magma Orb, then we picked up Winter Tide Brand and Storm Brand, and that's what we leveled until we got Penance, as you can see here. Winter Tide is okay with a few little points of uh, early damage and investment, but as soon as we picked up Winter Tide, uh, dropped Winter Tide Brand for Penance Brand, things started to go a lot smoother. Penance Brand is the brand that has a slight delay before it goes off with a nice large boom. Uh, you can do plenty of things to mitigate that delay, uh, but for the most part, throughout the leveling process, it's not a very big deal. Monsters take a couple of seconds to kill anyway. Uh, in this case, you just drop a few penance brands, run around for a second, and then things just die. But once you get to the higher levels, you can uh, make that delay go down with more cast speed and with um, the Swift Brand support, which is what I ended up doing, using Swift Brand for my penance brand and using it as a clear alternative. Uh, as soon as I picked up Arcanist Brand though, I did try out a few skills with it. Uh, not everything. Uh, my idea was primarily to be like a physical into a Ellie build, and in this case it's a uh, wave of conviction. As you can see here, it's uh, not very good for clear. It is just, you know, wave of conviction, but coming out kind of slow in random directions. So it wasn't that good, but once I decided that it was gonna be my single target, uh, that's when the build just started to do good things. I was using um, Penance Brand for clear with Swift, um, Swift Brand support, so it was going off pretty damn quick, blowing things up in more or less uh, one shot, and then Arcanist Brand attached a wave of conviction for all of my single target. And every single boss just straight up melted. I'm talking like one shots, the likes of which I've never seen throughout a leveling process. It just didn't seem normal. Uh, every boss up till Act 10 started to just get one shot. I don't know if there's something wrong with the entire setup of Arcanist Brand and Wave of Conviction, or if it's just Wave of Conviction is pretty strong, I've never really done it as an Inquisitor or something, but it was ridiculous damage, and this is without even having the uh, Inquisitor Ignore Ellie Resist node, it's just Wave of Conviction, and the exposure, I suppose. But overall, uh, it was pretty smooth leveling pro uh, process. The Penance brand itself is taking care of things for AoE. Uh, it's not the best, I don't think, because there is that slight delay. You do get rid of it, and it gets a little better, but once things start to get slightly more dangerous, it does slight, uh, slightly feel a bit worse, but I've managed with it, and I think you can, if you really want, just have two Arcanist brand setups. Use an Arcanist brand with, like, Arc or some shit, and then another one with Wave of Conviction, if you want to build like that. Overall, it seems like Arcanist brand is a pretty nice brand to be using. Penance brand, I mean, it's still pretty early to tell, but seems pretty good as well. Overall, though, Arcanist brand just seems versatile and, um, smooth. Like you can pick whatever you want, chuck it in there, just experiment with what's going to be good, what's going to be shit. For example, Glacial Cascade, pretty shit, because you want it specifically to be cast from a slight few meters back and um, have the cascades overlap. With Arcanist Brand, it's always going to be point blank and it's not going to maximize its damage. Um, so yeah, Arcanist Brand, pretty versatile and it does have some good damage. So most of the video covers basically what my journey was like, but I will go over my character for you real quick as well. It's uh, very much just following the build or the little starter build video I posted. I'm currently level 70. I just then hit maps and then logged off uh, for the day, but it's followed the passive tree basically religiously uh, all the way through. Uh, I did start to think that I want just about every brand node because um, 
duration, attachment range, cast speed, all of that just starts to feel kind of crucial. So uh, we've got all of those. Uh, I don't have um, this brand node here. I don't have this brand node here. I may have to end up reworking to pick up some of this sort of stuff. I'm not too sure exactly how I'll build the character, but so far I've just followed it as it was, uh, picking up all the crit, all the area, the life and mana, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and my first two ascendancy points were these, then these, now these, and these will be my last two. Since damage doesn't seem to be much of an issue, we may as well leave it for last. It may take a while since it's Uber Lab. Uh, like I said, primarily I was just Penance Brand um, with Onslaught, Intensify, Swift Brand for the most part. This was my three link for a long time. Uh, just because we want a bit of onslaught, but I should get that on a flask at this point. And then I used intensify um, just for area so that uh, we have a bit more area, but then we can focus it down for a bit more uh, damage if we really need to. Uh, for the most part, yeah, I just left it at these because it was doing good enough work, but we can definitely get more supports involved. Uh, my Arcanist brand, however, I had a few more links since we got a five link. It's very easy to get through the new crafting system. Uh, we got Arcanist brand attached to Wave of Conviction. I then had Ellie Focus as my third link. Uh, once I got a fourth link, I put in Inspiration. Once I got a fifth link, I put in Conk Effect. Just because it's purely single target, not using it for clear at all. Inspiration won't work once we have uh, Eldritch Battery. So keep in mind that you will have to drop that eventually if you do that, which I probably will. Um, and Ellie Focus isn't ideal since we're no longer shocking with our big uh, uh, lightning hits. So not too sure, but currently that's what I'm doing and it's been working, so whatever. I then got all the storms attached to Assassin Mark, Curse on Hit, and Arcane Surge. Quite often running around pressing all the storms uh, in between packs and whatever. And this is the new all the storms graphic. There's a lot of um, graphics that have been kind of updated and revamped. Uh, then just have Zealotry, leveling with crit strikes, that doesn't do anything. Uh, Summon Lightning Golem, Flame Dash, Herald of Ash. Uh, not too sure if it's Herald of Ash we're going to use. Um, by the looks of it, it's going to be built like we want a lot of auras. So I probably want Hatred, Zealotry, maybe Wrath. And I can only fit that in if I get a Devouring Diadem. And then I've got an Enduring Cry, which I only just picked up and started pressing. Uh, it's a bit slow at the moment, obviously, but um, we may look into using some Enduring Cry action to beef our character up a bit as well. But it's all pretty straightforward, nothing to really talk about yet. It was just a nice little leveling process. I started to get pretty squishy by the end, since uh, a lot of my gear is just kind of crap. Um, but... I think we, we can get there. The playstyle will be a little slow from time to time with Penance Brand against certain types of enemies. Maybe at some point I'll convert to full-blown Arcanist Brand, but uh, I think um, I'm going to try and make Penance Brand as a clear work. I think by the looks of it, Arcanist Brand is going to be pretty damn good. It activates fairly frequently. It does everything it's supposed to do. Um, and then at the same time, Penance Brand, if you build it similar to like an Eternity Shroud, a uh, huge extra fizz um, converted damage, you're going to just deal a huge amount of damage as well. It's going to possibly be the new sort of one shot where you like build up a lot of stacks and then it goes off and goes boom, one shot's like a shaper. Very similar to a Divine Ire. So overall, um, brands, they're not like what they felt like. I haven't really used uh, brand recall at all. I'm just treating them as like individual spells where I right click a lot. Um, the duration goes down and then you have to right click again. It's just kind of like a spell and it's been fine. And uh, if you're into that, feel free to check it out. Otherwise, I've heard really good things about all the slams and the war cries and all that. Uh, Gladiator, Earthquake, Bleed. Um, Earth Shatter, all of that shit, just destroying. So any one of the starters I think I threw out there should be completely fine. This one will probably be the hardest one because uh, you are squishy as you go along and do have to play the game a bit. With those, you can probably take quite a bit more hits. And the new Warcries sound like they're just beefing everything. So I think that's it for me. The uh, sort of league mechanic, it's pretty straightforward if you just want to do the basic stuff. And uh, once you get into tier 2 and tier 3 crafting, you have to plan it out a bit more. You can check out ZGD's video. I'm happy to just handball that over to him since uh, he makes those videos pretty uh, clear cut and explanatory and it's already up. But um, that's it from me. Hope you guys are enjoying your league start. I'm going to keep playing this character. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.